Tell me quickly about CASA. What does it stand for? Well, CASA is going to become more and more considered the home of the arts in southern Alberta. Art is a part of most of our daily lives. A lot of what we do is offer arts programming. So we have art classes for children, for teens, for adults. Aside from the actual art classes that we run, we also have multiple studio spaces that are available for members of the community. There's always something new, something different going on. This studio, we call the textile studio, it's, it's basically a dye kitchen. People will color and pattern fabric using natural and chemical dyes. How old do you need to be to come and learn here? Uh, 18 years old. 18? So 18 years it's chemistry, old. chemistry, isn't it? It's chemistry. It's chemistry, but it's also baking. You know, there's some really nice parallels between scientific processes, but also domestic processes. This is as old is as it? I think the civilized world is, isn't it? Yeah, as far as I know. Weaving it has to do with the cross-section of fibers, right? And that's how you get cloth. So that's what this is all about. We are hand weavers, which means everything that we do here is manual. You can buy looms that have computers attached to them, and they do a lot of the patterning. We don't do that here. We are just hand weavers. Printmaking. Printmaking. Again, it's as old as people putting things on cave walls, isn't it? Just about. We do monotype printmaking, which is what I'm doing right now. It's kind of a fun, freeform, painterly way of printmaking. There's a lot of creative people out here in southern Alberta. People are fascinated by doing art and they want to try something different, try something new. Everything is designed. Your shirt is designed, your hat was designed. Somebody with an imagination made everything that you're wearing, everything that you're using, everything has a bit of creativity or art behind it. So it's integral in our lives. How long have you been dancing? I've been dancing probably for just over 10 years. And a facility like you have here at Casa, is that a great opportunity to give you a chance to do this, isn't oh, it? Oh, for sure, yeah. It's, most people grow up in the studio, so when you get to come to a place like this, in a beautiful space like this, it's kind of that extra bit more inspiring. How are you doing, Ethan? I'm good. What about yourself? <laughs> I'm very well, thank you. We've got a, a lot of activity in this class. We do. Basically, we are creating pottery. Pottery, in essence, is taking clay, building it into a structure where there's an inside and an outside. So these two young gentlemen here are very much ready to get going here. Oh, and, yeah. And I think if they talk about it... Pottery. That's pottery. It's <laughs> okay. So it, not everything's a vessel. I think they might be doing some sculpting as well, don't they? Ah, uh, yeah. So you can like... do a mixture of both, even. So it's about fun. It's about fun. It's about learning a practical skill and it's about a bucket list item. I think there's a lot of value to be gained just from learning a new skill, having fun, meeting new people, but we have a real range of folks working in those studio spaces, so we have what you might think of as more professional artists that are producing a high volume of work. We also have opportunities for artists to display their work, we have a gallery in the building, we also have opportunities for them to sell their work. And on the other hand, we also have hobbyists that maybe they came and they took a class and they thought, I really like working with clay. They can have an orientation to the studio and come and just work on their new, new hobby and have fun. Yeah. 